So absolutely, Anisha, today's day seems like nothing exciting that happened over there as well. Uh, Nifty closing as flat as it could be, 0.03% um, uptick, just six, six points up is what we're seeing for the Nifty 50. And at 22,000 below the 22,400 levels, Nifty Bank, bit of a sub newness that we've seen coming in for the Nifty Bank as well. And that's how it's been since around uh, 11 a.m. that we saw and that's where the market has remained. The broader market that's where the pressure came in as well. The Nifty mid cap and the Nifty small cap both, uh, both were seeing a decline as well. A small cap saw a sharper cut coming in, 2% downtrend, closing almost near the day's lowest point as well. Uh, let's pull up Nifty Realty. That's the top sectoral loser today. And we saw uh, cuts of almost 3%, more than 3% that has come in for Nifty Realty. Pulling up some of the names over there as well. We have DLF, Goodrich Properties, Prestige estate all of them seeing clear pressure coming in trade today nifty realty the top sectoral loser other than that uh, you know let's pull up psu banks as well what spi did nothing exciting because uh, psu banks was among the top sectoral loser as well uh, that was down 2.59 uh, percent and sbi clearly uh, we will be having the supreme court uh, verdict that will be coming in yesterday we did have the decision they dismissed their plea as well on the electoral bond issue so yes that pressure maybe seems like has continued on sbi to, uh, 12th march is the day that's today's date is what they've given keeping an eye out on SBI IT that's the only pack that saw a bit of a green coming in as a sector wise and nifty IT closing almost near the days um Highest uh, point as well, six tenth of a percent uptick that we saw. Infosys, uh, TCS, uh, surely seeing good gains as well. As well as uh, you know, when we look at mid cap IT names, also that managed to hold on to good gains like Oracle Finance because they did have the global peer uh, part and counterpart, which actually managed to see uh, good uh, good uh, uh, guidance and growth and in terms of numbers, the presentation that they've given. So yes, Oracle Finance uh, managing to hold on to gains as well. Other than that, you know, let's talk about HDFC Bank because in the Nifty. That was something that was gaining away in trade as well. And HDFC Bank was uh, seeing gains of more than 2% as well. So yes, HDFC Bank managing to see very strong gains on that front. And the Nifty 50, you know, pulling up the markets. 33 uh, points uptick is what we have seen for the HDFC Bank as well. So yes, uh, that's how the market setup is looking like. Broader markets clearly still under pressure.